Hey guys, Rage here. This is my third commentary for League of Legends, debuting the new hero, Miss Fortune, the Bounty Hunter, and her lovely set of moves. She has some great utility, and although the enemy in this team didn't put much of a fight, I feel I'm going to put this game up anyway, because it is really cool. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Mundo Mundo runs into this bush, gets immediately attacked by three people, but a quick ghost and the fact he is Mundo gets him away safely. Now, you'll notice here that at level 1, Strut plus my Q lets me harass pretty much safely, getting my bounce in there, bouncing between them all, my Q wrecking them up. We basically can out harass them, 2 versus 3, Mundo, and with my Q. Garen now gets really low with a Q. So I see he's low, that dodge there is probably what saved him. I flash forward to try and get the kill. Auto attack, one more auto attack, I ghost to finish him and the exhaust denies me. Really disappointing. Try and get Fiddle in the hopes that a bounce goes to Garen, but he runs back to stop it. Now we turn around and try and get to me, even with the slow from Mundo, the ghost is too much. I try and tower dive him, but thanks to my ghost still being in effect, I only take two hits and survive. Greg is there arriving to the party too late to do anything helpful. Now I'm returning home for obvious reasons. Even I couldn't lean on that kind of health and manner, I would say. Waiting for health and manner is so much fun. Right, this is where Strut gets shown really well. It lets me get a passive boost mobility, which lets me at level 1 get to the lane again in about 10 seconds, 430 movement speed at level 1, it is rather quite good. Right then, the game starts proper now. Right then, harassing with my Q, really good way, especially if it bounces between the two enemy champions. Lucky crit there gets him trying to me really low, so we hang around in this bush and found the minions, forcing them to back off, letting us farm freely. Now trying to me get here gets a bit overconfident or fails at clicking the mouse and instantly dies. Mundo here might be in a bit of trouble but Garen knows if he stays I will destroy him pretty quickly. Now we try and go for him but his ghost saves him. So now that we've made them both back up we can farm the minions pretty effectively. Trying to last hitting as it is imperative on misfortune. Although Mundo's not making things easy. Right at this point Gragas informs me that the Fiddlesticks is stacking magic resistance so he can't really do anything to him. So he asks for a swap and I oblige him and we swap lanes. Even at level 1 I can keep up with Fiddlesticks showing the true versatility of Misfortune. Now I get Make It Rain at level 2 and I say we slow quite good damage. Even at level 1 it scales quite nicely as you level up. I don't get another rank until I have to. It's mainly there for the slow and the scare factor. Oh my god a circle I must run from it. Trying to harass Fiddlesticks down, getting a bounce to him there. Quite a lot of damage at level 1. Over a bar. Mundo there got a kill in their Tyrannomir. Shocker. I always hit the back minion, knowing that if I run forward, Fiddle will run away, so he'll take the bounce and take loads of damage. Let's keep the general farming up. And Gragas there, picking up the second of them after a quick tower dive. Good stuff. Now he learns at this point not to run away. He actually runs forward to stop the bounce, which was pretty smart. Fiddlesticks is by far the best player on their team. MPR shots level 4. Now I've got my full arsenal. Can pretty much get quite a few kills. Another bounce to Fiddle there. Just didn't get that kill. Now, at this point, Gragas has flashed through the wall into the brush. Gets an explosion on him. I pop it. I uh, wait till he gets low and was going to find my Q, but Gregus got in there first and got the kill. Good stuff. Now that Fiddle has backed off, I can safely farm. Which is always a bonus. Looking down there, having them just killed Mundo, Tyran Rear is on very low health. It is tempting, but I know it's probably not worth it, and I probably won't get in before he can get to the tower or he pops some sort of survival cooldown. So I'm hanging around in this bush and I'm going to need one more kill for my item. Quickly finish that minion off and then return home. And return home. Good. Now I get my first item, sorts out my mana problems. Eventually to be built into the new item, which is just amazing, I have to say. Right. Strut on. Let's strut on down back to my lane. 
quite a quiet start, relatively speaking, this game compared to my others. But it does get quite interesting. Down there, I see that they're um, very low and they're in position to get a kill. So I start heading on down here with my fast movement speed. Tyrannomir dies before I get close. I'm thinking maybe I can help with Garen. But they don't need it. And he dies to a Mundo Cleaver. Boom. So I'm all disappointed. But I managed to get there in time to get the XP. Make it rain on there. Get a few kills. Now I think Phil might have seen what happened. So I don't go left. Just in case he's waiting in the bush to ambush me. Sensible thing to do really. Just farming now to get level 6 and my ultimate. Now my ultimate is very good in team fights and it's a lot of high burst potential at quite a long range. Alright then. Let's just clear this minion wave out. I see it's going on down there again. Uh, I didn't notice quickly enough, but I didn't get any um, pings or anything. But saying that's not an excuse, I should have been aware of the map. But I do get down there eventually to help kill them with Gragas. Make it rain on them both and fire my ultimate through them both. Now that finishes off Tyrannomir. But Garen has already seen that he's really not got a chance. Gragas there trying to flash to get him and with his ultimate. But it's just not enough. No harm done. It's got a low cooldown. The flash was a bit of a pain to waste. But it didn't come back to haunt us. And we also got a tower into the bag in. So it's all good. Quick make it rain, great for farming. Leveling up double up there again. Nice high burst potential. Really good skill in my opinion. Nice spammable damage. Now I accidentally run into Fiddle here, get feared and drained. Now I just walk off because I don't really want to fight him on a 1v1 at this stage. And I know he's got backup, as I proved there. Now I'm running away, I get slowed, I fire a Q back at him. Just to injure him and ward him off. Now there was a bit of lag there, which is one of the reasons why I didn't notice Felix men away straight away. But I show you it wasn't on my side. The lol servers at the moment are completely screwed. And there are a few bits of lag and I apologise for any of them that come up. Now tranmir has got a bit overconfident. Fiddle sticks knows he can't stays. I flash forward. I try and get him, but it's just no use. I could probably tower dive him and maybe get a bounce, but Fiddle sticks is content on staying to fight me. Close. Get a quick queue off there. Just not in time to save Fiddle, but he has left the tower vulnerable, so we do get a good chance to lay into it. Gragas coming to join me. Quick make it rain to clear that minion wave, pave the way for our next one. Now I do take a tower hit there, I don't back off immediately, which I should have done. But overall it was okay, there's no real danger from the enemy team. Right, Garen runs in, but we know he's no real threat. We know we can easily take him 2v1, and he knows it as well. Now we see Fiddle go up above us, so I do warn them, because we know he might ultimate in at any time. Tyrannomir coming in, time for a 3v3, I would say. So I place my ultimate here, aiming to kill Tyrannomir, and it also makes a barrier for Garen. He's not going to want to run through that. Tyrannomir died before it was effective, but it was all right. I ghosted away from Fiddle Sticks there before he could fear me, then hung around in this bush. Mundo there cleansing his drain, and we get a kill. Quick Q to lower him, and Gregus' bomb does finishes the job. Now again, we've killed two of them. In fact, we killed all three of them. But Trenum is nearly back up. In fact, he very well be, might be. So we know we've got a good chance to lay into this tower. But with the limited minion supply, we know we can't finish it. And here comes Tyrannomir. Now he knows he can't take us. Just a few auto attacks and he goes that low. But he was sufficient to defend the tower with me on this kind of health. Just saying that we've overstayed our welcome there. We wouldn't want to uh, be getting ganked after such an advantage. That's uh, how 3v3s free can really turn around, I find. If a team starts getting cocky or overconfident, the enemy team can really take advantage of it. And with a few aces, the game is completely done a 180. Trying to the level 4 when we're level 8. Don't know what he's been playing at. I know what he is, and that is free gold. Garen, Gragas there going for him, we get him back with a ulti, but he's going really fast, but a nicely positioned barrel gets the kill. 
good bit of play there. Nice to check that bush just to make sure he's got no reinforcements coming to, that were trying to save him from that gank. But it's all good. I had bot wards my previous trip back to spawn, placed one, there's the two. You know where the third one goes by now. Well, hopefully you do. I'm going around the back to place it just so they don't get any inclination what I'm up to. <laughs> 